Hi, this is Riyan from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will use the Add Rules and Features wizard to install the Active Directory Domain Services rule on a newly installed Windows Server 2022. We will also promote a Windows Server 2022 to be a domain controller in a new Active Directory forest. You need to assign static IP address on your server before you start promoting your server as a two-bin controller. Let's press Ctrl Alt Delete key combination to sign in to Windows Server 2022 server. Click on Input, Keyboard, Insert Ctrl Alt Delete key combination. Let's enter the administrator account password and press Enter key. The system logs on the administrator user account and the server manager console appears automatically. I'm going to click on local server on server manager dashboard. In front of Ethernet, we can see the static IP address 192.168.96.11, which we have assigned in the last lab guide. Now I'm going to click on dashboard. Click on add rules and features. The Add Rules and Features wizard appears, displaying the Before You Begin page. Here we need to click on Next. Leave the Rule Base or Feature Base Installation Radio button selected and click Next on Select Installation Type page. On Select Destination Server page, click Next to accept the default local server, which is DC1 in our case. Click Next. Select the Active Directory Domain Services checkbox on Select Server Rule page. Let's select the checkbox. The Add Features that are required for Active Directory Domain Services page appears. Click on Add Features. Click Next. On Select Features page, we simply need to click on Next. The Active Directory Domain Services page appears, where we simply need to click on Next. On Confirm Installation Selection page, click on Install button. The Installation Progress page appears as the wizard installs the selected rules and features. In our case, it is Active Directed Domain Services. If you want, you can close this wizard without interrupting a running task. Once you have installed the Active Directed Domain Services rule, you must promote the server to a domain controller. In this lab, we will create a new domain in new Active Directory Forest and configure the server to function as a root domain controller for that domain. Click the Promote this server to a domain controller link to promote this server to a domain controller. The Active Directory Domain Services configuration wizard appears displaying the Deployment Configuration page. Here, select Add a new forest option. We are deploying a new Active Directory forest and that's why we have selected the third radio button. Now, specify the root domain name. In our case, it is going to be mustbenoob.lab. After specifying root domain name, click Next. On Domain Controller Options page, we can select Domain and Forest functional levels. We can see Windows Server 2016 functional levels are set for Domain and Forest functional level. Under Specified Domain Controller's capabilities, we can see DNS Server Rule checkbox is selected as well as Global Catalog checkbox is also selected. Since we are deploying new Active Directory Forest, and this is the first domain controller in our Active Directory domain and it should be Global Catalog. And that's why the radio button in front of Global Catalog is grey out. Next, we need to enter or we need to set up Directory Service Restored Mode password for this server. Let's enter the password. Now, I'm going to click on Next button. On DNS options page, we can see one warning about DNS delegation. We can skip it. 
The additional option speech appears and after a brief delay, the NetBash domain name appears in the text box. Uh, in our case, it is going to be must be noob. Click next. On path speech, we can specify the location of the Active Directory domain services database, log files and syswall. Click next. On review options page, review your selection. And that we can see here which options uh, which are we have selected. Okay. Click next. Uh, some checks will be validated before Active Directory domain services is installed and configured on this server. The wizard performs the necessary checks and a notice appears on the page indicating that all prerequisites check have passed successfully. We can install and configure or we can see we can promote this server as a domain controller in new Active Directory Forest. To do so, we simply need to click on install. The installation page appears as the wizard creates the new Active Directory Forest and promotes the server to a root domain controller in new Active Directory domain name must be noob.lab. After several minutes, the computer will restart automatically. After several minutes, the computer will be restart automatically and that we can see here. Let's press Ctrl to delete key combination and log in to our server using must be noob slash administrator account. And this time you can see must be noob slash administrator user account is display on the login screen. Let's enter the password and hit enter key. Uh, first of all, I'm going to open Active Directory users and computer snap in to verify our domain controller. On Sawmage console, I'm going to click on tools and then I'm going to click on Active Directory users and computers. We can see our domain name is listed here, must be noob.lab. Let's expand it. Here we have our default containers like built-in, computers, users, domain controllers, etc. Let's click on domain controllers and here we can see our domain controller name DC1 in our case. So this server DC1 has been successfully promoted as a domain controller for must be noob.lab domain. In this lab guide, we have seen the steps to set up a Windows Server 2022 as a domain controller in new Active Directory Forest. That's the end of this lab guide. See you all in the next lab guide. Keep watching and keep supporting.